and today I have an interesting comparison. The following year 2021 has three movies from both the DC Extended Universe and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So let's predict who is going to be the ultimate winners in terms of box office. So let's start with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They have three movies, The Eternals, Shang-Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings and Spider-Man 3. So let's begin with Eternals. Eternals is uh, surely has a massive cast, which is of course the main Thing why the audiences are attracted to watch the movie plus it's the it's an MCU movie and MCU movies usually do well rather than bugging up and and becoming a bomb at the box office so and this movie is a team up in an intergalactic space and there are several factors which attract the movie goers to watch this movie but on the other hand it's an a newer MCU property which makes it a bit of a hit or a miss for the MCU just like Ant-Man and Doctor Strange did but I think it is going to be really good with a 900 million dollar box office prediction for the Eternals. As for Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi is a completely new property. It is not a team up. It's not a team up. They have casted Asian actors, uh, Asian actors Simu Liu in the movie and Aquafina is also going to be the co-star. Uh, it doesn't look really interesting out of all the MCU movies announced for phase 4 this is the one for which the audiences are the least anticipated I mean even I am not waiting for this movie I don't even put it in my top 10 most anticipated superhero list superhero movie list so that's the factor I don't think audience is quite anticipated so this is going to be at the level of uh, Doctor Strange uh, 650 million dollars predictions then there is Spider-Man prequel. They have not announced the title yet, but of course, uh, the previous Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Far From Home, just became the highest grossing Spider-Man movie. And that's a quite good uh, factor leading to this movie because uh, plus the Spider-Man Far From Home also left a cliffhanger which the audiences needed to be answered to. And of course this is a movie where we will be answered to. I mean what the problems Spider-Man had faced in the finale. I mean at post credit scene he has to cope with the situation and we are really interested to see Spider-Man's further journey in the MCU. So of course a 1.25 billion dollar box office would be good for the movie so here now we are the total for Eternals 900 million for Shang-Chi 650 and for Spider-Man 3 1.25 billion leading to 2.8 billion dollar total and so the DC Extended Universe they also have three movies The Suicide Squad, The Batman and Black Adam in 2021 so let's start with the first movie The Suicide Squad now The Suicide Squad is directed by James Gunn which has previously directed both of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie so he's quite a good director in the field and I think he is really good doing a great job uh, reinventing the Suicide Squad as compared to the shit version we had been provided uh, before, uh, the David Ayer's version. I think this is going to be real good because James Gunn has really worked hard on this project. He has completed the filming and all the set photos, if they had any indication then this movie is going to be real good. So I think an 800 million dollar box office prediction because it's an R rated film as for now. So let's see. Now next up we have the Batman. The Batman is of course my most anticipated superhero movie from now till or, uh, till any other greater movie does not come. So real it looks real good. I mean there are four bat four to five Batman villains. Matthews is directing the project and the stills they have shown. I quite liked it. It looks real good. It looks something um, like a massive project. I think it's going to be really good at the box office. Really, really good. And of course, it's going to a billion dollar. After all, we are getting a Batman standalone after years. So 1.4 billion dollars is my prediction. I think it's quite high, but it can go even higher. Then there's Wayne Johnson's Black Adam. Black Adam movie is one of those which is I mean Black Adam uh, Dwayne Johnson has been working for the, this movie since 2008 it had been on hold and now it is finally confirmed Jeremy Collins Sarah is directing the project and I think this one the poster after they showed the poster it looks real good if Justice Society of America is also in the movie which is going to be in the movie then it is going to be superb with a massive team of I think massive stellar cast this movie can win everything I mean 
it can it is a potential billion dollar blockbuster and hence my predictions go for a billion dollars for black adam aquaman did the same thing in december uh, then the DC total stands for 800 million Suicide Squad, 1,400 million dollars for the Batman, and 1,000 million dollars for Black Adam, leading to 3.2 billion dollars. And hence, DCEU has the lead. It will be the first year, 2021, will be the first year where DCEU surpasses MCU in terms of box office. So let's see if it really turns out to be so.